Well, how do you stop recording? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you a, well, probably one of the smallest beauty hauls ever. Um, so yesterday I went shopping with my best friend Emma, had a pizza hut, and quite frankly I was hoping to do a Primark haul. Um, but Primark was really disappointing, there was no sort of autumn stuff out at my Primark, so yeah. So it'll be a beauty haul today. Um, so I hope you all enjoy it. Remember to smash that thumbs up button, leave any comments down below, and subscribe to my channel. All of your thumbs up <laughs> help me so much in um, growing my channel, which is definitely something I want to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I've pulled out of my bag from Boots is the Dr. Palm Hand Gel. So it's moisturising, kills 99% of bacteria in seconds and instant acting formula. I've not even opened this yet, so let's see what it smells like because we're all using hand gels at the minute and we like them to smell good. So let's hope it smells nice. It doesn't smell as nice as I hoped really. I do prefer like the Carex ones and stuff like that because they smell really nice, but this one doesn't smell that great. But hey her. And I also got some Oral-B 3D white brush heads, so I got four in a pack um, for my electric toothbrush and for my husband's electric toothbrush. Um, it's going to have to have a pink one I'm afraid, so yeah, I got them. Um, I think they were like £10 or something. Um, the hand gel was £2, so I guess it wasn't bad, but I would not buy it again because it doesn't smell that nice. But, and then I got... The Imperial Leather Cosmic Unicorn Limited Edition. So this is Moon and Sparkles Unicorn Dust Shower Gel. So oh yeah, that smells nice. That smells nice. I do like Imperial Leather and I love having plenty of shower gel in. If you want to have a shower or a bath. So I got that one. And I also got this Imperial Leather, which is Wild Thing Limited Edition Funky Fruit and Safari Sunsets. Again, Imperial Leather. Oh yeah, that one smells really good. Definitely rate this one. Oh, it smells very, very, very nice. So I got that. And I also got um, an e.l.f. lip pumping gloss. Um, I don't have enough lip glosses, so this is something that I just saw when I was about to check out about, oh yeah, I'll grab that. Um, it looked really nice and it's quite a nude colour which is something that I wanted. Um, so this was £5, um, so not expensive at all really for e.l.f. I think it's quite a good make in some things. Um, so yeah, I got that. Oh, and the Imperial Levers were £1 each, so a bargain. And then for my husband, I got him the Lynx Gold Oud Wood and Fresh Vanilla Scent Body Wash. Um, obviously can't just think about myself, so let's see what Will's taste smells like. That smells good too. Very manly though, so definitely not something for me. And lastly, I got some Shaw deodorant for Will again. This was on offer, so it's like £1.50 or something. And then the body gel was £2, but it's because it's a big massive bottle. So one for him, two for me because mine was smaller. And um, so I got him that. And then, I think the rest of the stuff is mainly for me, but I did buy it myself, so yeah. So, oh, from Superdrug, I got the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So if you'll have seen my previous video, um, I did my everyday makeup look, but unfortunately I didn't have my big beauty blender. So I've literally no idea where that's gone. It was like a big yellow one, massive, probably a bit bigger than this to be honest. Um, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I've had to go and buy another one. So this was nearly £8, but I don't think that's too bad for a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So hopefully it's good and it's also a limited edition and it's in a light pink colour and if you know me, I love pink. Um, so I got that. And I also got from Superdrug this Revolution Radiant Glow Face Mask and this is in the, I haven't used it yet, um, it's in the Coconut Mango and Chia Seed Mask. Feed My Face. So let's smell this and 
it's in that. I always smell it and it does smell pretty good. Oh yeah it does. So I'm going to be using that today um, after I've had my bath and pop that on my face for about 20 minutes to half an hour or maybe a bit longer if it feels really nice. So I'll let you know how I get on with this. I'm really hoping it's good. Um, so yeah. Oh and that was £8. £8 for that. So not too bad. I'd, I've um, seen a couple on Beauty Bay that I want to get but I might put them on my Christmas list rather than getting a load of them now. But if I run out, I'm definitely going to be ordering one of Beauty Bay because there's like a pomegranate red one and that looks really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, so I've got that. And I also got... Okay, so the rest of the stuff I got is from Prana. So let's see what I got. Okay, so I got um, three scrunchies. I thought they were nice colours, sort of really pale colours. Um, normally I like quite bright stuff, but the bright ones wasn't that nice. So I thought I would get the yellow, the pink and the green ones, and that was £2, so not too bad. And I definitely needed some new scrunchies for when I'm having my hair up in a bun or whatever, just to make sure my hair stays in place. And I also, okay, so I've heard loads of people ranting and raving about the Primark fake nails. So I got this square Aletto matte naked nails um, so I got them so they're very nude I didn't want a bright colour and I also got the PS false nails tip glue which everybody rants and raves about so I thought I would give it a try hopefully it's good because I mean to be fair though I have got quite long nails anyway so I could just go and get them gelled but obviously that's just time and at the moment you don't have that much time on your hands unfortunately um, and I also got some hair bubbles um, because I have run out of the thick ones and I have a lot of hair to tie back so the thick ones I use to when I'm tying all my hair up and the thin ones I use when I'm just tying a little bit of my hair up um, so I'll put one of these on and then I'll put the scrunchie over the top so the colours of these didn't really matter that much to be honest because you're not going to see it, you're going to see my scrunchie um, so I needed some of these and they were only £1 so not bad and I also got the 100 oval cosmetic pads for when I'm doing my skincare routine so if you've not seen that video definitely check it out because I use cosmetic pads for quite a few things when I'm doing my skincare routine um, and they were only 90p so an absolute bargain from Primark and you can't really go wrong with these so yeah I got them and then lastly see this is how rubbish Primark was like I'll normally get like fluffy socks from there like these like Oh my god, so I was really really upset because I did not have a single pair of fluffy socks and if you know me, whenever I go to Primark I will always get a pair of fluffy socks and they were not, so that really upset me, but hey ho, last thing I got was some air, car, car air fresheners, um, so I got the bubblegum, blueberry and strawberry, so it was £2 and you get free. now I know they're a bit kiddified but it really doesn't matter because they're only going to be sitting in my car anyway, um, so I got these. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they will smell nice. So that was my little beauty haul. Um, very small, as I say, because I was hoping to do a Primark haul and they didn't have anything. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. Remember to smash a huge thumbs up if you did. Leave any comments down below and subscribe to my channel. Also to click that bell, turn on post notifications of when I upload new content so I've changed my times a little bit so Wednesdays will be 6.15 and Sundays will be 3.15 I will see you all on the next video bye